We're talking with Dr. Bill Harris uh, today about omega-3 fatty acids. Can you talk a little bit about just what omega-3s are and why are they important? Yeah, omega-3s are one of a class of two different types of fatty acids that we have to have in our diet. It's essential fatty acids. Mm -hmm. It's the omega-6 class and the omega-3 class. Uh, most people are familiar with these. It's called polyunsaturated fatty acids, <clears throat> which is what you typically see in vegetable oils. Any liquid fat, liquid oil mm -hmm. that you eat has got polyunsaturated fats, and they're either omega-6 or omega-3. Uh, almost all that we eat in America are from plants, the oils, plant oils, and they are rich in omega-6 fatty acids. The omega-3 fatty acids are a slight difference in chemical structure, uh, which if I had a graph I could show you, but I, that's okay. It's okay. Uh, the, <clears throat> the chemical structure is different, um, but the, the function is much the same. But the omega-3s come from fish oils. Uh, so it's an animal oil. It's not a plant oil. It's from, plant, from an animal. But yet it's a liquid uh, room temperature. So it's, it's, that's because it's full of these polyunsaturated fatty acids that are omega-3s. Um, why are they important for you? Uh, partly because we, uh, in, in really building cell membranes and, and doing all the communication, chemical communication between cells, the omega-3s form kind of a, one of uh, uh, two legs. I, mean, I guess you can't have a two-legged stool, uh, but the, the omega-6 and the omega-3 both are important in, in giving healthy membranes and uh, improving uh, uh, a variety of conditions particularly cardiovascular uh, conditions are improved by the omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, and the omega-6 are good too. They are healthy fats as, as well. Um, so it's possible to be a fan of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. Okay. It doesn't have to have a, a uh, you know, an adversarial relationship between the two. Mm -hmm. um, but the omega-3s have kind of emerged uh, over the last 40 years, uh, originally from research that was done by Danish uh, scientists in Greenland when they were studying Eskimos and they were they were examining the uh, Eskimo diet which was by our standards in the 1970s a terrible diet yeah, blubber mm -hmm. seal whale no you know no five fruits and vegetables a day none of that stuff uh, and it looked awful very high in cholesterol and fat uh, but yet they weren't having any heart attacks uh, there was some real paradox going on there uh, and that was what led to a real in, uh, investigation into what's different in the blood of these Eskimos versus normal uh, Danish people, uh, Westerners. And they found a, a whole lot of omega-3 fatty acids and traced it back to the food and found that in their food, all these omega-3s. And that was kind of where they started to get the idea the omega-3s might be protective. Uh, and since then, there have been hundreds of thousands of papers written mm -hmm. on this topic. Um, and it, it's, it's, it really is true. They, they have a, a big impact on a lot of diseases.